Hey guys, so today's video is a little room slash life update like what I've been doing because right now it's half term so I haven't been having to go to school obviously so first off with my room I'm like still getting it done because obviously we moved in November I believe I have a lot to do still but I've done quite a lot to my room so first off I've done this really cool shoe rack it's a custom built one so like it fits perfectly obviously because it's custom built but it's got like led lights in if you see there these led lights and if you look up at my ceiling there is a little i don't know what it's called i always forget but that's led lights as well so i'm going to turn them on because it looks really cool so whatever color i do that it also makes my shoes that color and also what is new is i have these chest of drawers which i'll show you so these are the drawers I do not know where they're from because they're just from like an actual company. They're not from like a place like I would know. These drawers are much bigger than my last drawers because like before I had like literally that which is half. So now I have a snack drawer and an empty drawer. But my other drawers have tops, joggers leggings in there as well <gasps> jeans and shorts and skirts and then like pants and socks and stuff like that these are the drawers which have my gecko on top my little pebbles who would be asleep now because if you can't see it is daytime so i won't be able to get him out until later but on these drawers it's just all my animal stuff that's just all my animal stuff in those drawers because I was like, I can't just have it out everywhere. Um, and also, something really sad happened the other week or a couple of weeks ago. My hamster Millie passed away, and I was really sad about it. Like I was really crying, and I was really upset about it. And my mum, she like surprised me with a new hamster, and I have a new hamster called Bear, and she's really friendly. Like she won't bite me. And she's a Syrian hamster, so I'll be able to show her in the video later on, which I'm really happy about because I was so sad about Millie. I was really happy to get there. Okay, so no more sad things. I also have these, um, well, this desk, which is also has a mirror, and I've just put these little vines on, and my I've got these roses. It's like a, it's like a glass on top, and then I've just got all my stuff in these drawers and then I've also got these drawers which I've had for ages but they're just Ikea drawers. So this part of the video is a paid promotion with Lego for their new Lego video app. So you would have seen in one of my previous videos that I had so much fun with my Lego video app and I'm going to make a new band and a video. I picked my song out of like all the song choices and I'm going to actually make my video. So first I'm just going to press play and there's all of these effects that I'm going to use in the actual video. So I chose Therefore I Am by Billie Eilish and yeah, let me turn it up so we can hear it. So I need to set the stage, which I'll do like in the hallway around here. So I have all these effects I can just use. And there's some really cool ones like this. And then some changing ones that change the music like this. And it's really cool. And I can also do, like, get rid of them and add different ones like this. And like that. And you can get like different shots of them, which is really cool. And then and there's like loads of different effects as well, which is really good. So I hope you're having as much fun as I am with the app. It's such a vibe. And I'm going to share that video with my friends and family. If you haven't already, download the app. The link's in the description below. Oh, I forgot to say, these are getting painted white because I'm not going to have the brown. It's like actual wood. Oh, I have these three pictures. These two are perfumes and obviously that one's Marble Coco Chanel. My nan granddad got me them for Christmas. So they only just got put up. And then I also, if I turn around, we got pulled in. I have this one that says Grace. This one is little baby pictures of me. And it's got like, it obviously spells my name with the baby pictures, which is really cute. 
It says at the beginning. All my sisters have one of these, but obviously they say their names. And it's really cute because they all have the matching ones, but they're not all the same colour. Okay, something actually really funny about my hamster. You're probably wondering why she has a towel over the thing. Basically, at night, she got out of her cage and she came, like, she laid on my arm and I, and I got so scared, literally. I ran and turned on the lights and I was like, oh, it's only my hamster, but I was literally so scared. So I had to put this on until I get a lid because obviously I'm not going to have that on forever. But also... Because she escapes, she knocks everything over and like buries all her toys. If I show you, it looks like it's not set up nicely, but she literally moves everything. Like, I didn't do that. I didn't bury that. Her sand pit is in here, some like her sand buffs in there somewhere. I didn't like put that down. Her water ball and her wheels a bit slanted. I had her cage all nicely set up. But now I have to get a lid so that I can put it nicely set up again. I had this really big hide, which actually fit there, but now I have to have two little ones. Even though I would have had one little one, this big one. Then I got, I ordered another one. I just need to wait until I have a lid so she can't escape because this is too big and she'll be able to like climb on top of it. So I'm gonna get my hamster out. For those who don't know, I used to have a hamster called Millie and she always bit me. She was a Russian dwarf hamster. She always bit me, but I still held her, but I had to have gloves on, which isn't the best way to hold your hamster. But there is really friendly. I just put her in her little castle so then like, I can, like, in case I accidentally drop her or something while I'm, like, putting her from here to there. That's my little bear. I just do it on my bed so then like, I don't drop her obviously and then I feel more comfortable and then she can run around a bit as well. I do have a playpen for her. Hmm? I have a playpen for her but I prefer doing oh, I've got my hair in the place. But I prefer doing this. Because in her playpen she gets a bit scared. Does she like she starts to shake a little bit, sorry. And she doesn't like shake or anything in here. Anything like that. You really don't know why she's called Bear. She's kind of like gingery, like brownish. And then her little ears are like dark brown. So they like, she actually looks like a little bear with her dark brown ear. Oh, whoops. Because obviously it's lockdown, I haven't been doing that much. And also it's half term. So all I have been actually doing is going to see my friends like in a park or something or like or going on walks. So it's not like I've actually <laughs> have got like a life problem update. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing or I've been going like skating. But I like going like on my skateboard or on a scooter or something like down like the ramps and stuff at skate parks. I think my aunt is trying to escape. Oh, she's not doing it now. She was squishing herself between the wheel and like the um, glass so that she could like kind of spider man crawl up, but she like can't actually do it. Like she's trying, she can't. Run. But sometimes she can, so I'm hoping she won't be able to actually get out this towel. I don't know if it's helping because what I thought is even though she might be able to pull it down or something. Is her like jumping out so if she jumps and hits this and she's gonna land back down or well, hopefully anyways also we wanted a pebble update he is completely fine he's happy he's healthy and i don't know what else to say because he's completely fine oh what's she doing I want to see if she can actually get out because if she can't, oh, 